Hi everyone, it's Heather at Little Bird Blythe. I'm coming to you today to show you a bit of a DIY project that I've just sort of completed. Um, and uh, I'd like you to meet this doll. She's called Lilla. She came to me um, a few years ago um, as a damaged custom. Um, she had a lovely face up in that she had gorgeous little freckles. Her eyes were very pretty. Um, and her nose carving is, I think someone went a little bit too far with it, is really tiny, um, the nose is. Um, but the mouth had been um, drastically altered by the person who'd bought her. And I think they tried to remove the mouth using acetone. So it was really, it was like it was scarred and they'd added um, some, some lip um, on there, but it looked terrible. Uh, and I've had her for years and I just had her sort of stuffed in a drawer and I think I probably stole her body for another project. Um, so when I was rummaging around yesterday for a doll to use for this um, hair that I'm going to show you in a minute, um, I came across her faceplate. So I um, stripped her mouth down properly, I sanded it properly and then re-blended in her um, blush um, to sort of make it match it's not perfect by any means and then I just added some lips which sort of give her a bit of an attitude look she um, it's quite a drastic alteration to the doll but it's actually quite nice it turned out a lot better than I thought and while her lips aren't perfect by any means because I'm not a brilliant customizer um, actually I'm quite pleased with the look that um, the overall doll has achieved so anyway the DIY started because I wanted to use um, some of my stash of live customising items. It was It's a case of either use it or get rid of it. So I had this gorgeous sort of fluffy candy floss pink um, mohair in a um, in a weft. I, you know what, I didn't measure it um, but I can probably find out how much I used. And I also had quite a lot of um, the Blythe Cool Cat scalps, ones I've used before with wigs. Um, I've done a, um, I did a video where I attached um, a, one of the mohair wigs onto one of the Cool Cat scalps. Well, I did instead of obviously attaching a wig. This time I decided to do a wefted scalp. Now it's not a brilliant job, I'll be honest with you. I was playing, I just wanted to use up some of my materials, so it is not a very professional job. And I'm sure if you buy a mohair wefted scalp online, which I have done uh, quite a few times actually, you're going to get a much better quality product. However, if you just want something, you want that mohair look, you want something a bit different, um, but you don't want to spend a fortune, actually it's a passable way to make decent scalp for a Blythe doll. As you can see, she's actually turned out pretty well. It's not brilliant, I've no idea how long it will last, um, but it's actually turned out really well, and I love the colour, and a few years ago, if I'd bought a doll like this, I would have been really, really pleased with it. I'm actually very pleased with her now, and I might even, I'm sort of considering whether to keep her now. Um, but I'm actually quite pleased with the way it turned out but it's not a brilliant job because I haven't done a particularly good job it's my first go doing it um, so while the overall look is pretty good if you look closely full disclosure it's not brilliant um, I've glued the scalp onto the um, the head and I've not done a very good job on that I used a new a different type of glue an all-purpose glue um, and to be honest, I didn't apply pressure, I don't think, for long enough. So I've got gaps at the hairline. So I don't know whether you can see that's pretty horrendous. Um, and the if you look closely, I don't think I had quite enough. I probably would have done a tighter, used more mohair if I had, if I had it. But I used it all. Um, so there are, I don't think it's particularly full, but it does the job, you know, it's not bad. Um, so, you know, if you wanted a cheap and cheerful way of getting a mohair scalp on a doll, then it's it's definitely worth a go. So basically, as I ramble, my usual, I do apologise for the dog barking outside. The um, There are deliveries happening at the moment and he really doesn't like it when people come into the local area. Uh, he takes umbrage to people walking past with parcels uh, anyway 
it's not that it's quite a passable way so what I've done is um, I've videoed most of the steps that I took uh, and I'm going to do a voiceover so I'm going to add that now um, so you'll be able to see me how I did the um, the mohair the wefting I did a very cheap and cheerful way using um, this this is probably going to horrify anyone who does it properly but I used hot glue I used a hot glue gun um, and a cool cat scalp and my gorgeous candy floss wefted mohair from Australia uh, and if I can find the details for that again I think I linked it in a previous video maybe for somebody who asked where I got them from so if I can find those details I will attach them so that you can see where I got them from but these days uh, mohair wefts are widely available definitely from Etsy I've, I've bought stuff on there before uh, and I got this particular one on eBay and it was a very reasonable price so it's, it actually made it a very reasonable a cost effective project to get a quite a cute little sort of attitude looking uh, sort of pastel goth dolly so I'm actually really pleased with the outcome so there you go so I'll stop rambling I'm going to add all the other little videos of the footage um, next and you can see how the doll came together it's not all it's not complete because I was sort of videoing over the weekend and I've got lots of other things to do so I'm sort of dropping the project on and off um, and, and getting stuck in when I got two minutes. Look, you see, she, she actually quite wants to make friends with people. So there you go, there's Lilith. She's quite happy to say hi to everybody. She's got a bit of an attitude, but she's a nice girl. I think I might keep her. I like her, she looks cute. She photographs extraordinarily well, considering her face up isn't perfect. But uh, yeah, I like her, I like her look, cute. So, thanks very much for joining me. I hope you watch the rest of the video. Uh, maybe find out how to do the mohair weft. If you do, do it yourself obviously I take no responsibility whatsoever for anybody uh, wasting materials <laughs> but um, yeah I'm sure you'll have fun if you do decide to do it just be careful with the hot glue gun because uh, it can burn your fingers so do be careful any children involved make sure they're well supervised uh, all the usual warnings but um, if you do have a go let me know because I'd love to see how you got on with it and in and um, it could be quite a passable way to make yourself a custom doll. So, good luck, enjoy the video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do consider doing that and click the notification bell. I don't upload as much as I should do, or as much as I want to, because I just don't have time these days, but um, click the notification bell and then as soon as I do do videos, uh, you're welcome to join me and you'll get told when I've uploaded them. So take care everybody and um, I'll see you in the next video. I'll uh, add the rest of it now. Bye!